Hey guys, it's Liz, and today I'm going to share with you a project that I am going to um, submit for consideration into Jay Zella, uh, Lavish Lace's design team. She had an announcement a while back that she was looking for three to four design team members for her shop, and I thought I'd give it a go. So this is what I decided to create. And um, I know it's really busy, guys, and this is so different than what I usually do. I tend not to try to overdo it with embellishments simply because I feel like I may do too much, you know what I mean, and it'll be cluttered. But this is actually a collage, so it works out. Um, I decided to alter a hanger. I know, kind of weird, right? But um, I don't know. I just thought I'd try something a little different. So I decided to do an altered hanger um, collage using the beautiful Graphic 45 A Lady's Diary collection. It's one of my favorites. Um, you guys know I love Graphic 45 and this collection is it's just beautiful. I love the colors and all the imagery of the gorgeous vintage ladies. So anyways, um, I started off with just a regular wire hanger and um, all I did is I took a piece of cardboard uh, from an old box. I put the hanger over it and I traced you know, this part here, the triangle of the, um, or the body of the hanger. I cut that out of the cardboard box and then I hot glued it all around the edges. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you guys know the wire does bend so it's not completely flat. But once you cover it with the papers and the embellishments, you won't be able to tell. So it was super easy to do. So, you know, once I did that, I cut off the cardboard, attached it, and then I went ahead and used my papers. And it's a combination, actually, of Graphic 45's uh, Le Romantique and a lady's diary. Um, because this surface is, you know, larger than 12 by 12, I had to uh, basically use two pieces of patterned paper in the background. So I think uh, one piece goes up to here, and then and I did another little piece here. But as you can see, you won't, you can't really tell. So the background paper is La Romantique collection. It's the one that's got all the beautiful pearls. It's like the string of pearls. And I thought that was perfect with this collection. Basically, I wanted to do um, uh, just like lady stuff, you know, like a little vintage um, lady collage thing. This is like perfect for like a little, um, like in your closet. And I don't know, just that's my inspiration. I was just thinking vintage ladies. <laughs> But anyways, um, I'm going to bring it closer so you guys can see. Um, again, I don't have, my tripod is acting really funny, so I don't know what's going on. It's kind of lopsided. But anyway, <clears throat> it's broken. But I'm going to bring it closer so you guys can see. All right. Okay, and I'm sorry if I move too much. Again, I'm on my knees here. And uh, anyways, so see, so you can see some of the paper underneath the pearls. It's really pretty. And uh, I adhered, you know, the paper to the front and the back. Let me show you the back. The back is just really simple. Basically, I just covered it with um, some of the paper. And, you know, you can kind of see the seam here, but that's going to go on the back, so it's not a big deal. And this is the Le Romantique paper. All right. So then what I decided to do, I mean, um, lavish laces, obviously. Um, she sells, Jay Zella sells, you know, trims and laces, and uh, she also sells wild orchid craft flowers and so I wanted to use you know laces and flowers to show that I can use her products. So what I did is after um, adhering the papers I covered the body of the hanger with lace and let me see so you guys could see that the entire thing is covered with lace. Basically I took um, this wide cream lace that I had uh, it's not too wide maybe about um, about two three inches and so I did a strip here, <coughs> excuse me, a strip up here and then another strip down here. And I used a spray adhesive to, um, you know, adhere the lace. Now, the one that I used, it's not the greatest. Some of the lace, you know, is uh, coming up. But once you put all the embellishments on it, you know, with the hot glue or whatever adhesive you use, it'll stay in place. So anyway, so I covered the entire thing with lace and then I used this beautiful pleated trim here down here and then it's got a little bit of lace poking through as you can see. I used that at the bottom and all the way across here in the hanger. Really pretty. And then of course I had to use some seam binding. I love the look of seam binding. I crinkled my own and I did color it with the Lindy Stamking um, Toto's Tornado Black. So I did some seam binding here like a little bow. Um, there's one there, there's one over here and then one on top. Okay. 
And for the top of the hanger, you know, it is just a wire hanger. I took some floral tape from the craft store. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree didn't have any. I know they normally do carry it, but I picked it up at Walmart. It was 97 cents. And I just used um, like two layers of the uh, floral tape to cover the wire. And then I painted it black so it can coordinate better with the, um, you know, with the embellishments. Okay, and then let's see, I'm going to move corner to corner, um, or you know, go this way so you guys know what I'm talking about because there's a lot going on. So after the seam binding, um, I did, this is one of the little rosettes, the little shabby rosette trims that Jay Zella carries in her store, and this one was white, and I just inked it up with the uh, Creme Brulee Cream by Lindy Stamp Gang. I cut it in half so that I would use half here, I just wanted half of it to poke through, and then the other half was on the other end. And then, of course, I used some gorgeous flowers. I, unfortunately, don't have wild orchid crest flowers, so I had to use flowers from my stash and um, some iron roses flowers that I have. So this is a beautiful iron roses flower here. This one was white. And I used, again, the Lindy Stamp Gang. I believe this color is Cape Cod Coral. And then I used some gesso on the top so that it can um, tone it down a little bit because the color is quite bright. And as you can see, there's a lot of, like, peach in the background but it doesn't match exactly. But when you tone it down with the gesso, then it just see, it suits it better. So that's what I did. And this one, this white one is also for my stash. I painted it yellow and I used Gravigai Gold. And the Gravigai Gold is so bright. Um, so I had to spray it onto my craft mat and then I used a little bit of some drops of water to dilute it. And that's how I got this nice um, mellow yellow. So that's what I did. And again, I used gesso on the top of it to tone it down some more. Here is another uh, gorgeous flower for my stash. And these are just little flowers. These are all white. And uh, for this color, this one is the um, Danny Zuko Denim, I think. I wanted to pick up the blue, you know, from some of these flower clusters that were fussy cut from the paper. And again, the same thing. Is the blue is way too dark. But, you know, if you just spray a little bit onto your craft mat and spray a couple of drops of water and just mix it up, it dilutes it and it gives it a much lighter color. So I think it goes better with the papers. And again, just so is on the top of them. And as you can see, I did a lot of fussy cutting from the paper collection. I, I used one of the paper that has all these gorgeous blooms and I fussy cut a bunch of them out. So there's some back here. There's some there, and then just throughout. I didn't want to cover the entire hanger because I still wanted the paper underneath to show through, and of course the gorgeous lace underneath. So there's a few flower clusters throughout. And then this beautiful little bird is actually a pin. It's like, you know, one of those little uh, pins that you can stick onto like your lapel. And I picked it up at Michael's about a year ago. It was in a clearance bin, and it was like 25 cents. I picked up two of them, and I thought this was so perfect for this collection. He's got, you know, a little blue rhinestone for his eye, and I think that went really well with the blues from the collection. And, of course, he's just gorgeous. And he reminds me of something like, you know, like a, a nice, elegant lady would be wearing, right? So it's really pretty. And this image here of these gorgeous ladies was fussy cut from the papers. Well, not fussy cut. It's just, you know, a rectangle. I cut it out, and I adhered it. Um, this is very dimensional. There's a lot of foam tape involved. Uh, behind some of these images to make them stand out from the rest, from the background. Okay, so that's pretty. And then everything is inked with the black soot. I wanted it to give it like a little shadow and to make it stand out. And look at this really cute shoe. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the chipboard pieces or wood pieces. I'm not sure what they are from Michael. I think it's like MDF. And it's so cute. And I picked it up, you know, from the $1.50 bin. I used a piece of the, pa of the paper, actually. This was from a different collection. I think this is just cardstock. I wanted that, you know, that peachy color. And then I ran it through my embossing, um, my Sizzix, or I'm sorry, my Big Shot, using an embossing folder that had this really cool alligator print, right? Because what girl doesn't love a, an animal print shoe? I think that is so cute. And as you can see, the edges are inked with the black soot. And then I just used a ribbon buckle and then a black flat back pearl on top. And it's such a gorgeous shoe. I love it. It reminds me of something like Jimmy's shoe. But <laughs> anyways, it's so pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then here I just did, you know, have a bobble for my stash. I just used some E6000 on that. And then here we have a cute little purse. Isn't that darling? And this again is from those little chipboard pieces or MDF pieces from Michael. And I have a little bag here. Let's see, look. Here's the shoes. 
They're cute, right? And then, you know, you can paint them and add paper to them. And then here's a little purse. Look how darling. And then for the little purse, I wanted to use, you know, the pattern paper. So I adhered the pattern paper on there. I inked the edges. And then for the handle, I wanted it to stand out from the rest. So, so I used uh, Dimensional Magic by uh, Mod Podge. So it kind of looked like patent leather. Really cool. And then I cut a piece of lace and I tied it around the handle because you know how the ladies use them. Sometimes we tie our scarves to our bags. So I thought that was really cute. And I love the little purse. I think it came out so cute. And then these are some more flowers from my stash. These are some fussy cut flowers from paper collection. Another flower from my stash. And of course this gorgeous, gorgeous lady from the paper. She's so beautiful. I just have to include her on my collage and she's just gorgeous and again there's a lot of foam tape back there to make her stand out and then um you know you could still see some of the lace in the background and then look at this really cute pendant it's a little mirror a hand mirror and it's so pretty and it's a real mirror too you could probably see me yeah <laughs> and um i got that on ebay a while back um can't remember where i got it from i'm sure i have it written down somewhere if you guys want to know just let me know and then this cute little flower is also for my stash. Again, I use uh, Danny Suko's denim and then some gesso on top of that. This is a really cute little ticket. Um, I think it's also MDF, and this is from the new Recollections at Michael's. And I thought that one was perfect because it's got the little vintage shoe, and it's, you know, it's really cute. It went really well with the uh, collage. Very nice. And again, here's some more fussy cut flower bunches. You can see the lace. And then this little lady was also cut from one of the papers. I fussy cut her out, as well as this one here. And again, all the edges are inked with the black foot. And then you see, it's like uh, she has foam tape behind her so she can stand out, you know, so give her some dimension. And then look at these cute little glasses. Aren't they adorable? And again, these are the same little chipboard pieces from Michael's. Look at the glasses. They're so cute. And all I did is I painted them black, and then I used the dimensional magic. Look how shiny it is. Really cute. And then just two little rhinestones on the edges. Thought that was really pretty. And then this corner was the same as the other one. You know, just um, several flowers from my stash. And again, the beautiful shabby rose that trim from Jaisela's store. And then some more gorgeous theme binding. It's very pretty. And then, you know, a little flower from my stash. And, oh, look at the middle. This was so pretty. This was like uh, an after, well, not an afterthought. I kind of knew I wanted to do something there. I just didn't know what. But what I did is I took these little pieces, um, when I ordered from Lindy's Stamp Gang, you know how they send you like a little gift? These are these little chipboard pieces from Lindy's Stamp Gang. And I painted them black, and uh, well I gessoed them up first. I used a couple coats of gesso, black gesso, and then I just kind of left them plain. I didn't want, um, I was going to put rhinestones on them, but I thought, okay, the collage is busy enough. I don't need anything else. So I thought they, they were perfect. They just stand out. See how really nice they look? On the background and then I just added another flower from um, my stash on here very very pretty and just look at I think it's really nice I mean yes it's very very busy and like I said it's, it's a little different from what I'm used to because I kind of try not to overdo it but it's a collage right so it's okay I can do that <laughs> so I really like the way it came out I think it's really neat it kind of reminds me of something you know that would be like in a boudoir you know and I think that's really pretty it's a bunch of lady things and I think it's really nice. So I hope you guys like it and I really hope Jaiza likes it as well. Um, I try to use, you know, um, as much stuff that I could. I mean, little laces and, and trims and, oh, and I forgot to tell you, I used flat back pearls on the, um, the edges of the hanger, see? Because when you put the cardboard and then you've got the paper, there's going to be like a little bit of a gap. So if you just use something here, I just use flat back pearls all along um, the sides and that way it covers up that gap and it's not so pronounced so but that's my hanger guys um really hope you like it and like i said i hope i am able to showcase you know uh using the trims and the laces and the flowers and um i had fun it's fun. it was fun making this maybe you guys will give it a try as well so let me know what you think um i know it looks a little crazy but i think it came out pretty cute um, there's a lot going on, of course, but uh, I'm quite happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'm going to put the link down below to um, Jaisela's channel if any of you guys are interested in um, submitting a project for her design team. I think you have until the 27th, but uh, she's awesome. I got some amazing goodies back 
a while back when I won um, the uh, Sexy Man Valentine's Challenge. She sent me a bunch of good stuff. I um, I think, uh, yeah, the, the rosettes were from her shop, and then so was this lace. Really, And then this little one right here. So I try to use some of the things that uh, she sent me. So anyways, guys, enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my project. If you have any questions, just let me know. I hope I didn't miss anything because I know there's a lot going on. <laughs> anyways, I will see you guys soon. Um, oh, stay tuned for Friday. Friday, I'm going to make an announcement. I'm going to announce the rules of my giveaway, and I'm so excited because it's going to be my first giveaway challenge. I'm really excited. It's going to be a good one. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to make the announcement on Friday. Guys, thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.